Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. I got a request from one of the members in the chat room. His name is Bree After. I believe his new real name is Justin. And he wants to know, he just switched over to Mac recently. He wants to know my favorite and what I consider the best OS Pen applications out there. And of course, I'm curious to know what you guys like as well. So for, feel free to leave comments in the in the com, uh, in the blog post and also in the YouTube video. And uh, I'll, I'll definitely check out your recommendations as well. But here are my recommendations for you, uh, Justin. These is, this is the software that I use daily or recommend on, uh, you know, whenever I use it. So I'm going to go through the list and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible, but get into as much detail with each, each application. Um, the first one on my list is Adium. Adium is a multi-protocol IM client for OS X. Uh, it's similar to Trillion on Windows and also Digsby on Windows, which is rather new. Uh, Digsby, by the way, is an excellent uh, multi-protocol IM client, which, I, which is coming to Mac and Linux soon. And so keep an eye out for that. I'm, I might even consider switching over completely to Digsby once that is uh, released for OS X. Um, and I only I think it'll be only a matter of you know a couple months now. Uh, I know the developer who's he's been working very hard on getting Digsby out for OS X, but first making sure the Windows release was stable and working um, very uh, smoothly. So they released a major update for Windows by the way recently for Digsby, and uh, it's been much improved. Um, moving right along, what else do I use? I use a number of other applications. Um, one is called App Zapper, and it's not free, but there is a uh, free uh, uh, free alternatives on the market. Basically, what App Zapper does is it will remove all of uh, will uninstall an application. Typically, with OS 10, is you install an application, you drag it into the applications folder, and then to delete it or uninstall it, you just delete the the application itself. However, that leaves remnants um, behind of settings and other files um, that the application used. So what App Zapper does, or App Delete, which is a free alternative to App Zapper, what it will do is it will ins it will find all the files associated with the application and remove them as well as the application. Very handy to, um, to do, a very handy application to have. Also, I use a program called Audacity, which is free and open source. Audacity is and uh, an audio editor, very very simplistic, but it does the job for the most part. Uh, it will and it it works on Linux, Windows, and OS X. So it has you know the cross platform, and it's very simple to use, very easy, good for editing you know files very quickly. Highly recommend it. Uh, another application I recommend is called Audio Hijack Pro. Audio Hijack Pro is well, is essentially a mixer, a software mixer. And you can and you can hijack streams that are anything playing on your computer can be recorded, um, such as a Skype call, anything playing from iTunes, anywhere on your computer really. And uh, it's phenomenal software, excellent. I love it. I am um, I use it a lot to record Skype calls and things of that nature. And you can basically save it. It's amazing. It's one of the best pieces of software out there on OS X, in my opinion. Check it out, Audio Hijack Pro. Next thing I use is a piece of software called Cam Twist for streaming. Um, Cam Twist allows you to add different effects to uh, your stream, such as the thing I have on the top, and also the if I move over just a little bit, that thing right there it says live. Not best taking on that. Um, next, moving right along, I use another application called Candy Bar. Candy Bar is from Panic um, Software. They make great software, very useful, along with Coda, which is another piece of software that I recommend for developing uh, HTML, CSS, PHP, all those different types of web format it's, it's just basically an editor and it has a built-in terminal and even uh, uh, learning um, products such as books that you can read ebooks built, that built that are built right into the application so you can teach yourself as you go um, but candy bar is another application not free but it allows you to basically customize any icon on the system any any icon at all and you can fully customize different uh, icon sets and it's just an awesome application if you like the customized stuff so check out Candy Bar as well. Move right along. There's Colloquy, which is a free IRC client for OS X. Pretty, uh, pretty nifty. It's not my favorite. I like Linkinus. Um, Linkinus is my favorite for OS X, but Colloquy is free and Linkinus is not. Linkinus costs like twenty bucks, twenty five bucks. It's very cheap, but excellent IRC client. Uh, moving right along. Also, another application which is pretty cool is Cover Sutra. Cover Sutra is a 
application that you install and it takes the cover art from the song playing on iTunes and it'll stick it on your desktop and you can see the cover art and it gives the name and everything but it even has integration built in for last FM so you can update your last FM account you can search quickly from your uh, from your menu bar to find new songs that are uh, in your iTunes library or find songs in your iTunes library very key application love it um, next is a application which was recently given away for free on uh, on their website called Crossovers or Crossover. It is a not for, it's not free, but it, what it does is it allows you to run Windows apps on uh, on your on your Mac. Um, now it's not foolproof. If you're going to try, if you're going to just run, you know, it doesn't run every single application. It's limited. It's based on Wine, and not every application runs wine, uh, under Wine um, very well. But it's 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 decent software, and it, it'll run a few applications here and there, and it has a supported list and everything like that. But it's not free; it's about 35, 40, bu 40 bucks. Um, they recently just gave it away for free for a day. Um, we'll get you know for this whole thing that he was that the CEO was promising whatnot. But it doesn't really matter. Check out crossovers. Um, if you if you if you like it and it works with the applications that you use, go for it. If not, I recommend VMware Fusion. Uh, VMware Fusion, one of my favorite apps on OS X. It allows you to, ba it's basically VMware, but it has built-in functionality that you can run Unity mode and things like that. So Windows, Linux, you know, OS X, everything. You can run OS X on OS X. Um, but any operating system, really, you can install via VMware Fusion.